In this video, we'll be talking about an potent immunosuppressant drug known as azathioprine. And azathioprine is also known as a nucleotide biosynthesis blocker. So we would try to understand how it works, what are the clinical usage and what are the side effects. So brace yourself and watch it till the end. So azathioprine is a pro-drug. That means it's not active by itself, but eventually it is metabolized to create a transient form that do the job of immunosuppressant. Azathioprine or its derivative, metabolic derivative actually block the biosynthesis of a nu nucleotide or it actually creates a nucleotide analog that incorporate itself into the DNA replication or during DNA replication or transcription and block the normal process of DNA replication. But how it might be even relevant in context of immunosuppression? So this thing has to be understood and we will discuss that. But anyway, just a quick recap, it is clinically used to treat uh, rheumatoid arthritis, Crohn's disease, glomerular nephritis or other autoimmune condition. Even it's a drug of choice after kidney transplant or organ transplant. It has to be noted that it's a preferred drug in case of systemic lupus patients who are pregnant. So let us talk about the mode of action in a bit more details to understand the basics. So it's a pro-drug as we talked about. So azathioprine gets converted into 6 purine. Now 6 purine has a structural similarity with the purine uh, bases in the DNA. Then it gets converted into 6-thioxanthine-5-monophosphate and eventually get converted into 6-thioguanine nucleotide. So 6-thioguanine nucleotide is very similar to the nucleotides which are incorporated into the DNA during the time of replication. So just like a false base, it can get incorporated into the DNA and prevent the steps of DNA replication or prevent the process of DNA replication. Now, once DNA replication cannot happen, cells might die. Okay, by the way, the intermediate 6-thioxanthine-5-monophosphate can get converted to 6-MMP ribonucleotides, which is an basically active substance. There are other kind of derivatives which can be formed with the help of the enzyme TPMT or uh, thiosanthine uh, methyl transferase. So basically this particular derivative is non-toxic. Also thiouric acid is another derivative which is created with the help of the enzyme exo or xanthine oxidase. Both these derivatives are actually non-toxic and are eliminated properly by the kidneys. So that is why when we know this pathway, we have to understand while a person is undergoing treatment using this immunosuppressant, the drug allopurinol cannot be used. It's a gout medication. It blocks xanthine oxidase, but it cannot be used in combination with azathioprine because it would increase the toxic buildup of azathioprine. The non-toxic analog production would be stopped. So obviously toxicity would build up in case of azathioprine uh, derivatives. So that is why we have to understand this aspect. Now the big question. We understood that it blocks sort of like DNA replication process, but how that is even relevant in context of immune suppression. Now, in context of immune suppression, we know there are autoreactive T and B cells which cause all the problem. And these autoreactive T and B cells are activated with the help of antigen presenting cells that activates these uh, T cells. T cells eventually activate B cells. Once these T or B cells are activated and they, uh, they are autoreactive, they would eventually lead to a huge proliferation. They would increase in number, they would divide rapidly, and then they would attack our body's own uh, components. Now the thing is, the proliferation, T and B cell proliferation is a key event in this overall pathway. Now if the proliferation can be blocked, then the job is done. So obviously proliferation is targeted by targeting DNA replication because any cell that has to divide first has to replicate its DNA only then it can divide. So the derivative of azathioprine 
can get incorporated into the DNA replication and work like a poison to block this process and thereby exerts its effect as an immunosuppressant. So overall we have to understand that the T cell and B cell proliferation aspect is blocked by the drug as a thioprene and the way it block it is basically acting like a nucleotide analog which can get incorporated into the replicative machinery. But as a thioprene has uh, many side effects as well. It is used widely but it has side effects like pancytopenia and that is expected because bone marrow cells are actively getting divide uh, actively dividing and they are forming more blood cells. So obviously if replication is blocked bone marrow cells are the first one which would get affected that would reduce overall reduced in the blood cell numbers. By the way apart from azathioprine there are many other similar category drugs which are used as immunosuppressant. Uh, so the names are basically mycophenolate and mofetil. So these are, can also block the overall DNA replication and prevent the proliferation. So these are used as a glucocorticoid sparing agent in rheumatoid disease, but it has also many side effects like GI upset. And GI upset happens because uh, the cells of the intestine are actively dividing. They are also self-renewing self all the time. Pancytopenia is another common effect and it, it is also neurotoxic. So anyway, in a different video, we'll talk about uh, mofetil and mycophenolate. So this is uh, it for now. I hope this video was useful. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in the next video.